going to talk about two apps today for the iPad where you can actually use the camera on the iPad as a scanner take a picture of a worksheet, a test, a form open it up in a PDF editor and have the student handwrite or type in their answers on the page that was imported and then it can be saved or as a JPEG or a PDF and then emailed or put into Dropbox. So the app that we're going to use, there's two of them, we're going to use Cam Scanner Pro to take the picture and then we're going to do um, New Annotate Plus as our PDF editor. We're going to go into the writing tasks and I'm going to use Cam Scanner and this is going to make our iPad act as if it is a scanner. To take a new picture, start a new document, I'm going to touch the camera I'm going to come up to a new, a new document. You can turn a grid on if you want a grid to help with things or a grid off um, depending on what you want to do. If I slide the button down here this will do multiple pages. Okay, so I can do several pages in a workbook or in a packet that a student will be doing. So we're going to take a picture of this particular document. So you'll see where I'm coming to the document. I'm taking the picture. And there's my image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out my lines here to capture the page to capture. And once it's captured everything I want, I'm going to hit the check mark in the bottom. Okay. It's going to say here. Now, you can do a little cleaning up of it if you'd like. Um, I tend to like to grayscale it and then it comes out clearer. You saw the difference between the two. So once I've grayscaled it, I can put the title. So this is just going to do just going to do registration. Okay. So once I'm done there, touch the button and I'm done and it's going to save it and here's registration. So now I want to be able to edit it. So what I'm going to do is you can see down here where it says PDF. You can open it as a JPEG or PDF. If I go to PDF it's going to ask me do I want to open it? Do I just want to email it? Do I just want to upload a different PDF? What do I want to do? Well we're going to open it. We're going to say open in and a bunch of different things that you can use pop up. We're going to use the new Annotate Plus. So when that opens, a your doc document. Once the document opens in new Annotate, you're going to see a toolbar up at the top of the page. Um, you'll see here um, the home button, um, some arrows, an eraser. These are pens. These are highlighters. This is uh, how to format some of the text. Um, this is adding some images. This button here is um, to add text, as is this. So you can insert text in one of two ways. You can hit the T with the lines, and that would insert a text box into the document, which then you could move. Or you click the T here. Or type what you're going to want to put on the line and then hit return to enter. What you typed in the box will be inserted into the page right here um, and you're going to use the hand here to move the box to where you want to put it. Once you have your text, you can click here on this box where it says a T, and this is where you can edit. You can edit the line, the fill, the text, you can enter the font size, 
can do a whole bunch of things with editing here. Once you've chosen what color, what size, whatever you want to do, you can also go in and choose this arrow here and it will bring up an editing box, a trash can to cut, copy, paste that will appear. You can also um, choose to highlight what you have on your page or you can also um, handwrite or use a stylus to write on the page. Once you're done with editing, you're going to click at the arrow at the top and it's going to bring up what things you can continue to open this in. We're going to open it into notes because this is how we're going to get it into your Google Docs account. Once you choose notes, notes is going to open up and then you're going to click on the menu bar up here at the top. Okay, so this is the new annotate page that you set from Cam Scanner. So let's follow this Cam Scanner to new annotate to notes. And this is how we're going to send it to Google Docs. You click on menu and you're going to click the radio button next to the document you want to share. Now you can share more than one, it's up to you. And then you're going to click share selected at the bottom you see you have a whole bunch of choices. You can email it if your iPad is set up to email. You can put it into Dropbox. You can open it in something else. For our purposes, we're going to choose Google Docs. This is what pops up when Google Docs appears. So your username is going to be your network name at student.brewsterschools. And your password is student unless you changed it. Now in order to upload, you need to be connected to Wi-Fi. And once uploaded, you can log on to any computer connected to the internet and a printer. You go to googledocs.com, go to google.com, sign into your Google Docs account, and retrieve your document. So that's how you would get your document that you took a picture of, edited it in New Annotate, and now you're going to send it to your Google Docs so that you can send it to your teacher, you can print it out, you can hand it in, whatever way you need to do. Once you do this a few times, it'll get much easier for you to do.